Okay, here we have the, the management line. Off to this side is where the goats have been and we've done some work. And the other side you'll see where we haven't done anything. And this area is really not a heavy, what I'd call heavily infested buckthorn area, but still has a pretty strong understory. So after the goats went through here, they opened it up. They made it really easy for the homeowner to come through with his light riding lawnmower, no special brush cut or anything, just a riding lawnmower, and coming through and cutting back some of the smaller uh, buckthorn right off the trail. But you can still see some of these stems out in the, the background that are hanging out there. Most of these are dead, top killed. A couple years they'll crumble and fall down and it'll even open up more. But we're really not, I mean they're dead so we're not spending time on uh, knocking those down. But you can if you have a little bit more time on your property and want to speed up the process you can push those over. So now we come to the other side of the trail and this is just to kind of give you an example of, of the buckthorn that's growing in here and just how it still stays green and basically if I just wanted to I mean what, what kind of woods do you want to walk through you know the one on the, the left or the right or walking through this here and all this buckthorn and again this is pretty thin so even with a, a thin density of understory of buckthorn you know this one right here is starting to go to starting to get berries on it so it's starting to go to seed it's very hard for me to leave the other side of the trail, but we, we only can cover so much so so fast, but uh, and it, it creates a great before and after for people to see. So this is the other side of the trail. Again, working in, a, in an enclosed woods here with a hickory, elm, oak overstory.